All right, it is time to take a little break and look at what my plan is going to be. And the reason I'm doing this, I already started working on it, thinking I'd do one or two and then I could quickly whip out the last one and show you how it's done. Then I remembered way back when I studied, I studied math 30 years ago in college and the thing was they would always leave out certain basic steps when showing you how to do something as if it was obvious to everyone and me being in a class full of a bunch of a bunch of these people you know how they are they're, they're math geniuses well they were all they always seemed like they always knew these expert steps and these things that were supposed to be obvious they all knew them and I didn't and it it sucked I'll tell you what, it sucked real hard. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you. I came up with a little thing that is probably what we would call one of these expert steps. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Because if I skipped over it, you would, you'd all be pissed at me if you tried to build this building. So here's what I want. I want these light bulbs pointing straight down as if they were from the ceiling, right? So that they look, in general, like a normal light bulb would. Now there are LEDs on these two little bendable prongs. And I don't want to drill a hole through the top here to put them in there. And even if I did, they might be kind of high up. Um, so I thought, well, crap, how am I going to get those in there? Well, and then I thought, you know how I drilled these holes on the top here for the red ones? which this is one of the red ones. So let's put one of these red ones in. I drilled holes on here and I just plugged it right in. It's a nice stable base. No, it doesn't have a wire cage around it or anything like that. It's just stuck in there, but it's just, it's just nice the way it is. Here's the thing, that would be cool to do on the underside and it's easy too. This thing stays in here nice and solid and I got a place to solder under here. So here's the expert step as I like to call it. The expert step is that thing that, that everyone pretends they know when at least I know that I didn't know how to do it. So here it is. I took these little pieces of, of um, brown paneling that I had cut out of something and I drilled two tiny holes in them. I just basically eyeballed it I stabbed it with the pointer and I used a tiny drill bit. Now how did I drill through there? I did not use a pin vise. As you know, let's take another look at it. This is my setup. Something's going on here. Alright, there we go, we're back. This is my setup right here to do drilling. You see that? I got a tiny drill bit in there. Okay, and I got the big XY table and the drill press. Now, that drill press, it's uh, central machinery. That's what it is right there. Yeah, if I remember right, the normal price on this thing is like 69 bucks. But if you get Harbor Freight's flyers or you go in the store and you buy something you get a fire with it look for these things and say 40% off any one item clip that 40% off coupon or you know there's almost always a 25%er in everything that they give you but anyways if you find that 40%er or the 25%er clip that off if you don't have one of these it's a good investment and you can get that down you know under 50 bucks if you do, if you go to coupon clipping, but if not, the XY table, like that, that was like seventy dollars. It's okay. I don't recommend it for everybody because it's, it's 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 a little bit wobbly, and the reason is it comes fully assembled. Because I'm guessing in China, they fully assemble them on purpose to make sure they're not missing parts. This thing should have come completely in parts and I should have had to put it together myself because you got to do a lot of cleaning up stuff in it and I've torn it down a couple of times 
to do that a few more times and it should be pretty decent anyways that's pretty expensive um, it's cool to have it has a lot of uses and stuff but the drill press is really important and it has its own little table I have swung around to the back um, here's a really good vise unfortunately it does not match doesn't match the table got the wrong size but um, you can mount a vise to this table usually this is the kind I think it see this one says four I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be three that's how I got the little holes in these little things I got here and I'm gonna do this so you see that and when, oh, I'm going to solder just below the bulb and I'm going to cut these two pieces off and I'm going to white glue it right there that's my expert step that I want you guys to know so here's the thing so you let's say you don't have the drill press and you're not that great using a big hand drill and drilling through a little block of wood like this and you don't want to spend you don't want to spend 30 minutes with a pin vise drilling these tiny holes here you just don't want to I'll tell you, there is another thing you could use and this would work pretty good you see that road bed cork yeah you can poke a hole through that and it will definitely hold one of these LEDs and since you're gonna glue it anyways I'd say to use that cork if you don't have other stuff you can use just about any material and the whole idea with this build is we scrounge the materials that we're going to build in here we're not going out and buying stuff and you can look around packing materials a lot of different things something you can poke a hole in and using Elmer's white glue will work just fine it will hold the LED in its place and it will hold a little block in the middle and we'll have a light bulb that hangs straight down and that will be cool okay but remember we're soldering we are going to solder not do not solder on the back side here we are soldering up top between the bulb and the so we're gonna solder first see that I'm gonna solder first then I'm gonna push it down to the wires and then I'm gonna cut it off on the back and glue it in place that's how we're gonna do it all right I'm gonna show you now let's take a look and see how we get these LEDs wired just like can we focus on that Come on, like this. All right, anyways, let's get this thing down here. Let's get down here where you can see it, okay. So, got this nut. You set it on the tips of your LED like that. You can see that. Let's see if we can get in. All right, let's see if we can get in where you can see what I'm doing here. How about like that? So I hold it down with this nut here, keep it in place. I've got my wire, it's tin. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm doing the hard side. This is like the backhand side. Okay, I've got both things tinned and I want to get my wire right there. And I should be able to just touch it and go. And I got it. Okay. That is how I solder these tiny guys. So I solder these little guys. You can see that. It's kind of a tricky part. Okay, now if I did this right, and I do believe I did, I've got it in the order so that, remember, into, into the short side, right? So if I stick this in my block of wood here, Like I said, you could use roadbed cork, okay. There we go. That's how it's 
this is how I'm going to use it. I'm going to cut those two prongs off and then I'm going to do some probably some Elmer's glue and I'm going to glue it in place and it's going to hang upside down like that right so I've got a light there and that's going to look pretty cool.